Right, very quick video here, straight to the point. Triple screens in Race Room. Now you've got Race Room, you've got a lovely triple screen setup, and you want to race Race Room on triple. So you get into the game, you go into the options, you choose your resolution. So there's mine. Uh, what else is there? There's nothing there. So let's have a look in the video settings. Again, you've got your resolution, aspect ratio. There's nothing there to change. So actually, in the sim, you can set up your triples. But I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So I thought the best way to demonstrate what it looks like is with the GoPro. So this is with no triple set up. So this is what you get when you just select the resolution. So left monitor doesn't look too bad. You can see the mirror is a bit stretched. Center screen's fine although it's a bit set to the left. And then right screen, you can see, we can't even see the right mirror on there. So that is looks really funky, it looks strange. Everything's stretched on the side screens. Right, let's go and set up the triple monitors. So to set up triple screens in Race Room, we need to head to Steam. Now I know that's different from every other sim, but it is what it is. So you go to your Steam library, and you find race room racing experience right click and select properties this box will appear now this is the bit that we're interested in here the set launch options so if we click on that and then this box will appear now this is where we type in all of the information so race room knows that we are running triple screens so first of all we need to put in a minus and then we need to type in T-R-I, capital S, C-R, space. Now that's letting Race Room know that we're using triple screens. Now we need to input some numbers now. And all it is, is the dimensions really of our screens and how far away we are and the angles. So the first number we're going to put in is the distance from my eyes to the centre screen in centimetres. Um, I know that I'm sitting 700 or 70 centimeters away from my center screen. So I would put in there 70 space. Now the next number is the offset in relation to my eyes and the center of the screen. So my eyes are dead level looking at the middle of the screen. So I would put a zero. But if I was two centimeters higher, my eyes were two centimeters higher than the center of the screen, we would put plus two. And the same if we we're lower, we would put minus two. But we're not, we are zero. So we type in your number, then space. Now, the next number, we need to put in the size of the middle screen. So in centimeters, how wide is our screen? So mine is 61 centimeters. So 61 space. The next one is the height of the middle screen. So mine is 34, so we're putting 34 space. Um, so the next one is the middle screen bezel width. So mine is around about one centimeter. Uh, so just measure the bezels on your screen. So we're putting one for me, space. Um, so the next one is the left screen width. So if you're running the same monitors, it's just the same numbers. So the width is 61 space. And uh, the left screen height is 34. And the left screen bezel width is the same with one. So left screen angle. So this is where we put the angle in of the monitor. So mine is 58 degrees space. Then we go on to right screen width, which is 61. So I'm using the same monitors. And then it's right screen height, so it's 34. And then it's right screen bezel width, which is 1. And then it's right screen angle, which is 58. So there, so we've got the numbers in there. So first one is the distance from my eyes. The next number is the offset in relation to my eyes in the center of the screen. Then we've got center monitor width, center monitor height, center monitor bezel. Then left monitor width, left monitor height, left monitor bezel, left monitor 
angle. Then we've got right monitor width, right monitor height, right monitor bezel, then right monitor angle. So they're the numbers you need to put in. So then you click OK and close it down. Then start up race room. So now we're back in race room. We haven't changed anything apart from the numbers that we've just put in. So now if we look to the left, you can see now that the left hand side mirror is in proportion where you would expect it to be. Um, center screen is pretty much as it was and the right screen, well, you can see that's so much better. Now we can see the right hand side mirror, the dashboard all looks in proportion. The windscreen wiper is lined up correctly. So there we go, perfect triple screen setup in race room. So there we go, dead easy. Just follow those steps and you will be on race room in triple screens in no time. Please let me know in the comments if this helps. Uh, if you did like this video, if you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then please consider clicking on the subscribe button. That's it from me, short video. Thanks for watching.